hey you guys back again with another video good morning good afternoon good evening good day how's everybody doing i hope y'all doing well welcome welcome to my new and returning subscribers if you haven't subscribed subscribe and give this video a thumbs up today you guys i'm making me some homemade cream of chicken soup yes y'all this will be my second time making because the first time i made it was a few years ago and um yeah so it's yeah it's holiday time y'all okay so we're gonna start with the the rocks we're gonna make the rocks i said rocks i'm gonna say roxy <laughs> oh gosh so we're gonna start with three tablespoons of of butter and i'm using unsalted because i can now that look like three table that look like four tablespoons but i just turned the pot off before i started recording i need to have this up here like this so i need to have it like this so y'all can see what i'm doing you know Y'all don't really need to see me, you know, making this. I mean, y'all need to see me, which I really need to see is the, um, you know, what's going on in the pot. What's going on in the pot. Gotta make sure this base is, is um, you know, where it needs to be. So I'm melting three tablespoons of unsalted butter. And I'm going to use four cups of flour. Four cups of flour. Echo, four minute timer. So we're gonna do this for four minutes. We're going four minutes, starting now. First, you put the you only put in two tablespoons of flour with the three tea, the three tablespoons of butter. So we're gonna whisk it. I know I said one fourth, but you gotta use two. You gotta use two tablespoons at a time. So it's one fourth cup of um flour, but you gotta use two tablespoons right now. And you gotta whisk it on low heat for four to five minutes. Okay. Whisk it. So 
So I'm doing this for four minutes, y'all. Four minutes, but I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm adding another two tablespoons of two tablespoons of flour. I'm gonna combine, I'm gonna whisk, you know. Whisk it real good. I'm going to add a cup of homemade chicken broth. Yes, one cup of homemade chicken broth. Okay. This is one cup of my chicken broth. Mm -hmm. I know at this point I feel like I'm making gravy but that's how it starts off like you're making gravy but yeah. mm -hmm. thing in there. I gotta add three cups of um broth. Chicken broth. Yeah. I hope I have enough for three cups. Adding it in slowly. Let it drip, drip, drip. Ooh, I thought I wasn't recording for a minute. I was about to say, what? But yep. And I'm making my own version of cream of chicken soup because I can't eat that Campbell's. I can't eat the store-bought Campbell's, um, you know, the brand, the store brand. I can't eat the Campbell's version or any ver any um brand soup in the can because they have, 9 out of 10, they have soy in there, they have wheat in there, they have corn in there, you know. Let me put the flour up since I'm done with the flour. I already used one fourth cup or a quarter cup of flour. Mm -hmm. Put that in there. Yep. Now I hope I have enough of. Um, I'm gonna have to use some of the store board um, brand, the broth. So I was heating it up in here. Let's see. Okay, I have to add some of the... I thought I had too much. Now, let me see. Uh... This is what I'm using. store -bought. I don't have... I didn't have enough... Three cups. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Man, the texture I'm going for is thick and creamy. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. I'm checking to see if the flame was up where it needs to be. Yep. Don't worry, y'all. The seasoning is coming. I'm not doing this plan. I mean, your broth is already seasoned well. Well, my broth is seasoned well. But if you got good broth, I'm still going to add the um, extra, you know, seasoning. So you need one cup of milk. One cup of milk. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. Let's add the milk. Let's add the milk. You can see the steam. Whisk it all in, y'all. This will give it that cream. The milk. I don't know if you can use heavy cream or um, half and half because I never use that. So I'm using whole milk. You know, you want to use whole milk. And you're going to add your seasonings in it. And you're going to let it simmer for 15 minutes until it gets thick and creamy. So let's get the seasonings in. Yes, y'all. How's everybody doing? I haven't made this in a long time. I'm excited. But usually when I make this, I add this to dressing. You know, like, yeah, I never actually had a bowl of it, you know. You know, now let me, okay. So we're going to use a half a teaspoon of um, salt. Let me get this salt because uh, I don't like that pouring salt. Okay. Okay. One teaspoon, half a teaspoon of salt. And uh, you can add white pepper or black pepper. I'm going to use black pepper. Oh, I should use white pepper, but we're going to use a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. I'm trying to get this thing because this is low. Got to get some more black pepper. Sprinkle that all up in there. Um, you're going to have a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. You know. Add a quarter onion powder. Got yeah, everything way over here. <laughs> um, garlic powder. I love onion and garlic powder. But for some reason, I didn't like onion and garlic chips. I didn't. Growing up, but oh, oh, I didn't see that there. And you're going to whisk this in. And you're going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes. You're gonna let it simmer for 15 minutes. Mm, okay. 15 minutes. Mm, that was simple, right? That was simple, right? And of course, you want to taste your your um your food as you go. So we gonna taste this. Taste test. We're gonna do that with a taste test. So, yep. Here we go, y'all. Tasting it. Mmm. Wait a minute. Mmm, that's good. Ooh. Ooh. I would love to can this. Like make a few of these and can them. But I don't I have a thing about canning stuff with butter and milk. Like I don't feel safe canning butter and milk. I don't feel, you know? So, I'm going to let this sit a few days. Well, not on the stove. But, like, once it's done simmering for 15 minutes, <clears throat> um, I'm going to let it sit in the refrigerator in the mason jar for, like, two days. And then I'm going to use it on what I'm going to use it on. But this is the... It's, 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 um. 
It's November 2023. And um, I'm not saying the date, Echo, 15-minute timer. I'm not saying the date because I don't know what date this is going to be posted on. But, um, yeah, so this is a good time. Minutes. Starting now. Why is that so delayed? I don't like that. It's like five second delay. But like you wanna let this simmer for 15 minutes. Let it do let it do its thing. 15 minutes. You know. You know, make sure your fire is low. Yep, it's low. And um yeah. I'm cleaning up right now. And yep, I'm gonna let this sit. Let this simmer for 15 minutes. Let it sit on the stove. Let it cool down. It's supposed to thicken. It's supposed to thicken. You know, and I know it's going to boil and it's going to be less. But, because you know when you cook, I said boil. I mean simmer. So, um, yeah. So, we're going to let it cook for about 15 minutes. Oh, I thought it was on pause. Oh, I was like, oh, my goodness. So, yeah, I'm going to come back and um, let it cool. Because it's going to cook for 15 minutes. It's going to simmer for 15 minutes. And um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show y'all when it's finished. And then I'm going to let it cool off in the pot here. And then I'm going to pour it into the mason jar. And that'll be the end of the video. And I'm going to let this, put this in the refrigerator. Once it get room temperature, let it put it in the refrigerator. Let it sit for two or three days. And I'm going to use this in another recipe. Mm-hmm. This, this tastes good. You know? This makes me want to make some, uh, some broccoli and potato and cheddar soup. Yeah, y'all stay tuned for that video next. But I'll be back. Y'all see that? I think that's when I'm supposed to set the timer. But, yeah. Then you want to turn down the fire some. You know. Make sure you, you want to bring it to a, well, not a rumbling boil. But then once you start seeing the bubbles, you turn down the flame some and let it simmer. See, to me, simmering is... When I see little bubbles in the in the um, pot, you know, and also the steam too. You don't want to burn your soup, so make sure you you know do this periodically, you know. But um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'll be back, you guys. 
I gotta run out too, so I'm gonna have to maybe pour. I don't know. See the little bubbles there? So, yeah, this can be eaten by itself. Or you, or you can um, put this mixes in with something. So, yeah. This would be a nice bowl. Make a nice, pour you a nice bowl. I said pour you a nice bowl of this soup. You know, put some in the bowl and, and just eat it. I don't know what you would eat cream or chicken soup with, but you know. But usually when I make this, like I said before, I add it to something else. But I never had a bowl of this by itself. So, um, yeah, let me, yeah. So let me get the, even though I'm going to let it cool off in it, I'll get that in a bit. So, um, yeah. It smells like holiday time. Mmm, it smells good. Usually, when you simmer, you, you walk away, but yeah. Okay, y'all. It's done simmering. I'm going to let it cool off. And um, once it get room temperature, I'll pour it in the mason jar. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Let's pour this in here. This this cooled way down. So this is 32 ounces of soup. Yep. I should make me another one and eat that. But I'm not. Okay, y'all. And here you go. Some homemade soup. Homemade cream of chicken soup. Homemade cream of chicken soup. You can have, eat this hot right out of a bowl. Or you can use this in another recipe. Whatever, whatever recipe requires cream of chicken. So now... This is going to go in the refrigerator and it's going to marinate. Look at that. You can see all the seasonings in there. Can y'all see that? Oh, man. Y'all can't see that. But, um, yep. Made in the USA. And this is made right here in my home. This cream of chicken soup. So, they got cream of mushroom. I think they got cream of broccoli, too. I wonder if I can add broccoli to this. But it'll be cream of chicken broccoli. But, yeah, anyway... I'm going to end this video, put this in the refrigerator, let this marinate for another, you know, two more days or maybe three days, and then use it in another recipe. I mean, you can eat it right now, y'all. You, you know, you make this, you can, you make this today, you can eat it the same day, but this is going in another recipe, so, yep, that's it, you guys. I'm going to end this video right now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you care. Hit that notification bell to be notified. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to do another video when I add this to the next, the next another recipe. I'm going to do that video. So, y'all, you know, have a great holiday. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Bye. Y'all stay blessed. Stay safe.